I'm standing in my YouTube studio and it's been lined on the inside with save board. This is the exposed internal finish. Step one, print the manual, have a read through. It's not that big, not that complicated. And a lot of it is very similar to other products that we're using in the marketplace. When you're installing the exposed internal liner, you need to make sure that your studs are at 400 centers or you could install extra dwangs every 400 mils. This stops the product warping due to the flexibility of the exposed face. Just like the other save board products, so you'll use your woodworking tools to make any cuts, sort out any penetrations that need to go in the sheets before it goes up. We like to use our Makita rail saw. One tip here is to flip your board upside down and cut from the back so that your skill saw blade leaves a nice finish on your exposed face. Once you've cut, sand any rough edges. So we're ready to install on our wall here and we would glue it up like other traditional internal liners. Using a standard construction adhesive, we will glue it 300 mils on the center studs and dwang. We like to mark our board out on the ground before we install it. On a non-braced wall, you need to glue it and you can panel pin it. And on a braced wall, you will need to use a nail gun or you can screw it off. You also need to make sure that the bottom of the board is six to 10 mils off the floor using packers and the board needs to be a minimum of 18 mils on a stud. Let's go. One thing we've learned with the screws is you go in, go out, and then go back in, and you get a really nice finish on the face. Using e either a plastic spacer or a nail, we want a two to four mil gap. I'm using a two and a half mil nail. You would also paint these studs black. This board here, we're going to brad with panel pins, assuming it's a non-braced wall. A little bit faster, a little bit easier, let's go. To make sure your pins are all hit home, slowly rub your hand over the final product, giving them a gentle tap, and then let the glue do its magic. On my installation, I've gone for a negative detail. You can also use an aluminum H jointer or PVC joining tape. Um, well, how do I say subscribe? Save board, save us, board us. Get on board, chuck it up. While we're chucking up the save board, help our subs go up. Go ahead, click subscribe. You know you want to.